Hello everyone and welcome back to This Day in History, our nightly look back at a specific day in history, where we take a look back at a specific day in history. We take a look back at the historical context in which the events took place, the historical ramifications of the events, and we also examine some people that were born and some people that died on that day. As always, please, if you have not yet, hit that subscribe button the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content, and tell a friend. And without any further ado, this day in history, March the 4th. And on this day, until the passage of the 20th Amendment, presidential elect inaugurations took place, except for the first one. That was in April. But from 1793 until 1933, this was the day on which presidents were inaugurated. Um, some of the great speeches and events in American history took place on this day. You had the only thing we have to fear is fear itself, FDR. 1865, Abraham Lincoln with malice toward none and charity for all. Um, you had the first peaceful transfer of power uh, from a losing president to a the person who beat him in the election in 1801. Uh, you have just other massive um, events. You have George Washington peacefully retiring and moving on, uh, and John Adams. Is ascending to the presidency. Um, I've explained in an earlier video uh, why the change occurred. Um, and it was also the time at which Congress uh, term ended. So prior to this, uh, you would just have a flurry of activity occurring on uh, March the 3rd, and there's a room in the Capitol that used to be used quite heavily at the end of a congressional term uh, called the President's Room, where they would sign a flurry of uh, midnight bills um, and uh, legislation. So, uh, yes, March the 4th, uh, until the passage of the 20th Amendment, this was Inauguration Day. Births that occurred on this day. Uh, Rick Perry uh, was born in 1950 in Haskell, Texas. He served as governor of Texas from 2000 until 2015. Uh, he assumed the office of governor uh, when George W. Bush resigned the governorship uh, to transition to the presidency um, after the 2000 uh, presidential election. Uh, he was Secretary of Energy um, until 2000, from 2007 until 2019 under the um, presidency of Donald Trump. Um, he, um, up until the end of his term as Secretary of Energy, he was one of the few in the Trump administration who managed to fly under the radar uh, relatively unnoticed. Uh, that kind of changed uh, near the end of his term as Secretary of Energy as he got caught up in the Ukraine scandal. And some believe that uh, his timing and exit from the Trump administration uh, was convenient for him. Um, he ran for president twice in 2012 and 2016. Uh, both uh, runs began with Lots of excitement and high energy, and both ended relatively quickly. Uh, he had poor showings in Iowa in 2012, and a really poor showing in New Hampshire, and he dropped out very soon after. Uh, his 2016 run ended um, in September of 2015. Uh, uh, he really did not capture the energy he had entering the 2012 uh, race in that one, uh, you know, 2012, he entered late, 
um, but to a lot of fanfare, uh, but um, wasn't able to contain uh, the excitement um, that his running <laughs> indicate. There was a interesting moment in a 2012 debate. Um, he was asked about three government agencies he would eliminate as president because he had made this statement. And he said, um, commerce, education, and he got stuck and couldn't figure it out. It was this, it was the department that he would later uh, lead as um, its secretary, that being energy. Um, he also, uh, during its confirmation hearings to be energy secretary, it was revealed that Rick Perry really didn't understand what the secretary of energy did. Um, <laughs> but he was confirmed anyway. So, uh, yeah. Rick Perry, uh, former Secretary of Energy's birthday is today. Some deaths that occurred on this day. In 2001, Harold Stassen uh, passed away. At the age of 93 in Bloomington, um, Minnesota. At the age of 93. Um, he was governor from 1939 to 1943, one term. And after this, he became a perennial candidate uh, for various offices. Uh, but most notably... Uh, for president, he ran in 64, 68, 76, 80, 84, 88, and 92 uh, for the Republican nomination for president and got nowhere near close. Uh, he became a joke candidate and really a laughing stock. Uh, he was more of a liberal Republican, um, fighting. Um, what he saw as increasingly uh, conservative forces in the party. I think it's safe to say he lost that battle. Um, but yes, uh, Stassen, um, a one-term governor of Minnesota and a perennial candidate uh, for president. He would also become a perennial candidate for governor. Um, he ran for mayor of Philadelphia. He would, because he would later move to Philadelphia. Uh, he'd serve as president of the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, he would serve a small role in the Eisenhower administration. Just a, uh, yeah. He's one of those interesting people in American politics. He, he has one moment in the sun and he's not wanting to give it up. Um, so... I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night.